Hi everyone, welcome back to our latest updates of Q3 2025. It's been a record-breaking quarter for us here at Hack the Box with fresh content, new features, and even new ways to develop your cybersecurity skills. So let's get straight into it, starting with the Hack the Box Enterprise platform. This quarter, we made it easier than ever to measure progress, manage access, and personalize your learning experience. First up, we streamlined the way that you gain insights on your team's development. Reporting on the Hack the Box Enterprise platform is now organized into three dedicated views, skills, time, and engagement, giving you a more streamlined way to analyze performance, uncover trends, and make data-driven decisions. And what will influence that progress and learning experience is our latest AI-powered recommendations. Users can now see personalized content suggestions tailored to your activity and skill level so you can continuously grow your skills with purpose. And when it comes to managing teams, admins haven't been left out either. Bulk actions are everywhere when it comes to user management, giving you a way to modify user seats directly from the user management page and assign and remove licenses in just a few clicks. Now let's see what's fresh in terms of content. We released nine new Academy modules covering mobile forensics, Wi-Fi penetration testing, and artificial intelligence with a notable release of our brand new Android application pen testing skill path. And we're thrilled to announce the launch of Hack the Box Certified Junior Cybersecurity Associate. This brand new certification and job role path is built to help junior members gain real world cybersecurity experience through a hands-on hybrid curriculum that covers both offensive and defensive knowledge domains. This is perfect for academic programs, onboarding new hires and analysts, upskilling and reskilling IT staff, and anyone enthusiastic to get into cybersecurity. And that's not all. Within Dedicated Labs, we launched an incredible 194 new standalone offensive and defensive scenarios, the largest number ever released in a single quarter. And along with those scenarios, we introduced some new categories, specifically new OSINT and secure coding categories found within the Challenges tab. We also massively expanded the Professional Labs library, giving you a record-breaking release of seven new scenarios. These range from more time-efficient condensed scenarios up to seven to 10 machine enterprise attack simulations. Teams will learn practical Active Directory offensive skills, thorough enumeration, Kerberos abuse and relay attacks, exploiting misconfigurations, network pivoting and lateral movement, and privilege escalation using local exploits and DDL injection. Now, speaking of all the record-breaking releases, this is where we need to dig into the Capture the Flag platform. Last quarter, we introduced a major leap forward to our CTF platform with AI integration through the Model Context Protocol. This means AI-assisted challenge solving, automated write-ups, and seamless interaction right from your own terminal or editor. You can even try it yourself in the MCP tryout, a hands-on arena to explore this new integration in action. And it's fully optional because admins have full control over AI participation. You can enable, disable, or make MCP ma mandatory per event, ensuring fair play and flexibility across all competitions depending on their purpose. And of course, we expanded also our library of CTF packs. This quarter includes new packs for SOC analyst essentials, crypto attacks on web applications, WordPress exploitation and OWASP top 10 essentials, API exploitation and mobile reversing, and many more challenges added to our library. But still, we haven't gotten to our greatest highlight yet. Last quarter, we introduced Hack the Box Threat Range directly within the CTF platform. This is our most advanced blue team training environment yet, designed for SOC analysts and DFIR investigators to respond to realistic simulated cyber attacks. Each threat range session starts with a fully executed cyber attack, where teams step in to detect, escalate, and investigate, rebuilding the full attack chain to measure performance across metrics like mean time to acknowledge, mean time to detect, and mean time to investigate. It's the ultimate way to test and improve your team's detection and response skills under real pressure while accessing true measurable metrics that directly translate to your organizational resilience. Want to learn more about Threat Range? Check out the video linked in the description or click on the link form to try it out yourself. Now moving on to Talent Search, we also introduced a new set of plans so you can hire skilled cyber professionals directly from our global community of more than 4 million members. If you want to find the simplest way to source and assess skills validated candidates, check out the link in the description. Now before we wrap up, don't forget to check out some of our most useful resources, our blog updates. This quarter's highlight will be our Threat Intelligence series, where we break down real-world breaches by APT groups and show you how you can recreate those techniques through Hack the Box. Our third quarter of this year has been all about smarter, scalable, and more connected workforce development. If you want to stay up to date and learn more about our releases, make sure you check out the Hack the Box change log. 
Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next quarterly updates.